What's up guys and gals, it's time for the next chapter live reaction for Kengen. Omega, Kengen Omega chapter 263, entitled Showtime. It's Showtime, baby. Now, uh, I just want to say before uh, getting right into the reaction, thank you. I did read all your comments. I tried to respond to all of them. I think I responded to all of them. And uh, you guys might be wondering about the sunglasses um, or the aviators, whatever. Um, honestly, I'm just incredibly... I'm still not over it. I will probably never be over it. And right now, I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm, I'm very ashamed and I'm very embarrassed. Uh, so as a result, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of uh, crying, to be honest. Uh, and uh, so I'm just using the sunglasses to save a little bit of face, even though I'm admitting it right now. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to save a little bit of face for myself. So uh, if you'll indulge me in that, let's get on with the live reaction for Kangen, baby. Oh my god. So, um... Without further ado, let's just jump into the live reaction because we're already at the end of the Gao Lang fight, which once again, I was hoping for Gao Lang. I knew Gao Lang needed this shit, and honestly, I've seen people talk about the fight and saying that it wasn't good. Like, okay, was it the greatest fight? No. But to say it was a bad fight is absolutely ridiculous. A little too quick? Sure, if you wanted an extra chapter, I agree. But to say it's a bad fight is absolutely ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. So anyways, we're going to jump into the live reaction right now. For chapter 263, I was already... Uh, the only spoiler I have is that Okubo is at the beginning of the chapter. Uh, because when I, I was checking uh, Reddit, I did see the first panel, which was Okubo apparently with some dialogue. Didn't read it yet, but... And lo and behold, first panel, yada yada yada. So that's my only spoiler. So let's uh, get underway because we don't know is it going to go top to bottom or left to right. We could have the matchup being the two new characters or we could have Agito versus Julius. We don't know. We don't know how the brackets are going to work as far as order is concerned. Nobody told us what the order was. So there is that. Um... So let's see, the king of deep trivia. Mixed martial arts is more of an umbrella term, really, says Okubo. Each fighter's got their own unique style and they change day by day, either evolving or following trends. Um, okay, that, fair enough, yeah, to a degree. Chapter 263, it's showtime. There have been three main branches in recent times. North American, which is boxing plus wrestling. I mean, alright. Central America, which is boxing plus Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And South America, which is Muay Thai plus Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Other, all other styles. Alright, I mean, I don't know the validity of this, but I assume in the real MMA world that this is actually a practiced uh, thing, that this is accurate. I'm gonna go with that. Alright, so the commentators. Uh, ah, I see. So MMA's got all these subdivisions. Just a minute then, Okubo. You have experience in boxing and wrestling, so wouldn't that make you. That's right. I lean more towards the North American style. And this is Kitagawa. He goes to my gym and he practices North American style too. Oh, Justin Kitagawa is trained with Okubo. Okay. Because he said he goes to my gym. You know he's trained with him. You know that. Okay. So it's kind of Okubo's student in a way. Let's go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Justin Kitagawa. Now, Kitagawa, I hear that you have an American father and a Japanese mother. It's always the way. So, an American father, but black as shit. So, yeah. You know what's funny? You know what's very funny? And I, I don't want to, like, dive too much into this here. But the fact of the matter is, is that I've, I've heard this uh, the term thrown around so often. It's like, 
When do African Americans just become Americans? When did the term American mean solely white people? You know what I mean? When did we stop using Chinese American, African American stuff? When are they just goddamn American? How many generations do you need to go until they're a goddamn American? You know what I mean? So, because clearly, this man, like, what I like about this, and it's the only reason the way the text is brought up, you have an American father and a Japanese mother. Excellent. Clearly the man's black. Nobody questions American. You know what I mean? I like that. I, I do because I'm sick and tired of having that distinction. It's like, if you're born in the country, that is what you are, as far as I'm concerned. Doesn't matter the color of your skin, my guys. Or, and gals. And whatever else you want to identify as. It's all good. You know. You be what you want to be. You know. Have you lived your whole life in Japan? Uh, no. I first moved to Japan when I was 16. Alright. Fair honesty. Yeah. I mean, I have only seen England one time. And I'm a British Canadian. So I only saw... I was born in Canada, but I'm British Canadian. And I only saw England once, and it was, pff, God, I can't even remember. I was, I was, I was a child. You know what I mean? I'd always love to go back. Before I came to Osaka, I lived in New York. Yeah, New York. Uh, we know which New York you mean. Oh, this is a picture of when you lived in America. Okay, he's looking like a JoJo's character right now. Yeah, that's correct. That was back when I was in my rough and tumble phase. Uh oh, and there, how <laughs> Kubo and stuff doing the Kentucky Fried Chicken look. Uh, and this was after me coming to Osaka. Wow, give our audience whiplash, why don't you? Now you're currently active in Japan's martial arts community, but I hear you want to be active in America in the future. Yeah, I do. My gym mate Okubo mainly fights in the States too, which is true, dealing with the fact that Okubo fights in the MMA. American martial arts are the most advanced in the world. I've always wanted to try my hand there. But like, they speak English in America, right? So I'm worried about the language barrier. Hey, cut it out with the crappy jokes. <laughs> Assuming that he can actually speak somewhat good English or broken English or something like that. Thank you so much for your time. No, thank you. Our pleasure. That was great. You made some real good conversation. Okay, so immediately, right right out of the gate here, we're having a chapter that is hyping up this guy. Unfortunately, I want Justin Kitagawa to win. Because we're hyping him up, he gonna lose. You're gonna lose to that guy called the Bounty Hunter, a hundred percent. And I mean, I don't know why I'm upset. We only, neither side has met these characters before. There's no Fist of the Seeker characters here. There's nothing like that. I'm just. <sighs> We're spending a whole chapter on a guy who's obviously now going to lose because we spent a chapter on him. That's sad. Uh, that was great. You made some really good conversation. Thanks, Okubo. You're passable yourself. Hey, don't get all condescending with me. I'll kick your ass. Okubo probably could. Hey, by the way, Justin, you were talking about fighting in America. But do you mean public or underground? That's just it. I can't decide between them. All right, let's see. You know how massive the American underground martial arts market is, right? They pay the same on as public martial arts star, and that attracts the toughest guys in the world. But the public scene's appealing in its own way. Ultimate Fight just established a new open weight category, so they're going to draw in some mad tough fighters. Okay, open weight categories are crazy, but it does prove a certain niche where... A dude who's a better fighter, like the Bruce Lees of the world, could take down a dude twice his size if he's much more skilled, right? Size doesn't matter when you have the skill to compensate the difference, right? So, I do like open weight category in that regard. Considering how much I love money and how much I love fighting, I just can't choose. Do I try and become an Emperor of America Underground Martial Arts, or do I become the ultimate fight open weight champion and challenge you in a title unification fight. Oh, he's already got his sights set so high. 
Hey, since when did you get such a big mouth? Yeah, oh, Kubo. Talk some shit. Sure thing. I got a couple of acquaintances in America, martial arts, both public and underground. So, oh, Kubo's like, all right, motherfucker, you want to try your hand? Let's send you to, let's send you to the underground, let's see what you got, and then you can go against me. This is a man who fought against the Fang and actually didn't, what I hate when people underestimate Okubo, Okubo did fucking great against the Fang. And people be like, oh, but he wasn't evolved yet, and it's like, yeah, but he was the Fang for how many matches before evolving? Like, the man was a monster for, like, I, I don't remember the exact number, but I think it was, like, uh, 300 matches, 200 matches, something like that. Agito won in his current state before the tournament for dozens of matches at the very least, if not hundreds. And Okubo pushed that man. So I'm just saying, like, people sleep on Okubo. Don't do that. Don't do that shit. Man's got his talent. It's like I actually saw a recent Reddit post where uh, Chiba was doing the whole like formless and Salat shit like Roland and Agito combined and then, you know, there was that moment. Uh, and it was like, he deserved better? I was like, absolutely, that was bullshit that, uh, that Ryuki was able to get beyond that. like. Chiba deserved better, 110%. Yeah. I'm in full agreement with that, but either way, we'll continue, but I, I just don't want people to sleep on Okubo, but because we're getting this backstory right now, I immediately think that now Justin is going to lose, which is part of my prediction in the prediction video and when we started these uh, this tournament, the real tournament, I said, I want Justin to win feel like he's gonna lose and this is basically solidifying it for me i will be happily wrong i will be happily wrong if that is not so let's see if you get a good record in the real championship tournament if you get a good record don't have to win it i'll set you on a good course i got high hopes in you justin all right it's showtime capoeira coming in you know it's capoeira and the first fighter to enter is the underground minus one champion, the Panther, Justin Kitugawa! <sighs> Honestly, guys, that took all my energy. But either way, all right. Let's go. Hell yeah! Let's get the show on the road. The Panther, Justin Kitagawa. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, let's, let's keep the energy. Fake it till we make it, guys. Fake it till we make it. Alright. Kitagawa is 25 years old, born in New York and raised in Osaka. His martial arts base is wrestling. Please tell me he's capoeira though. God damn it. We got a black guy in here. Let's get some capoeira. That's not racist. I just mean I want some goddamn good. I want different fighting styles. Capoeira is so goddamn cool. Why don't I have a cool capoeira fighter to to be hyped about, you know? Oh, a New Yorker. He's a city boy, says Jerry Tyson. All you underground martial artist fans should know. Underground, minus one. Kansai's biggest promotion, Underground Minus One. Okay. These are the dullest motherfuckers. Okay, Underground Minus One is... Never mind. Never mind. I'm actually gonna... Just for a moment. These dudes be trash. Okay. Look at these fucking fakers. Being based in the mecca of comedy that is Osaka, this promotion has several unique fighters in its roster. But their strength is genuine. No. No, it's not. I have no faith in Underground Minus One. I got nothing. Kitagawa was second. Okubo. Okubo is going to be his second, which is fair. I still think Justin will pull out great moves. I'm not saying it's going to be a no diff. I'm saying now the Bounty Hunters one. 
And Kim Kanji, I believe we've seen this guy before. I have also fought an underground match one before as well. So it's like Stepping Stone in the Big Leagues, like the King Association in Purgatory. Stepping Stone, ain't that just rude? I'd rather call it a footstool. How is that any different? Yeah. Alright, but he's trying to be funny. And now he's going to try to act cool, and I assume it's not going to go over well. Well, whatever. I'll let my strength do the talking. You better see an undeniable win by decision. Hold on. Tell me a knockout. Good luck. If you go. Yeah, it's like undeniable win. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay. So he, he, he knows Japanese or English or whatever, but he doesn't know very well. Alright, so let's see. Yamagohan and the best girl, Kaede, are talking. And looks like the Osaka crowd's familiar with him. They're all getting along, huh? He's got a pretty thick body. Alright, Kaede. My wife is leaving me, but stop looking at other men right now. I'm lonely. I need your love. Look at my body. My body ain't that thick. But it's built to function, alright? So, just... Please give me some more. Uh, you can tell he was an amateur wrestler. It seems Kitagawa's got a goal of fighting America in the future. Really? In America? As I'm sure you're aware, Mr. Yamagohan, the United States of America is the world's greatest powerhouse in both public and underground martial arts. The underground martial arts market is bigger as an order of magnitude and level is immensely high. So th does that mean the Kenyan Association and Purgatory are shit compared to America? Interesting. The public combat sports, I mean, obviously, publicly, yeah, America's got their thing, but really? Underground too? The public combat sports are fairly active as well. Okubo's promotion, Ultimate Fight, just established an open weight category. They're drawing in promising fighters from all around the world, both public and underground. The Japanese martial arts sphere hasn't had much contact with overseas promotions, and that's particularly true for the Kangen Association. It's bound to change going forward. Well, I wonder if we'll have exhibition matches overseas promotions one day. Really do need it. Shibaru Kubo, I'm going to prove that I'm world class in this tournament. He is going to fucking lose. The more I see of this chapter, the more I'm convinced. Just listen to those cheers that goes to show Kitagawa's popularity. Yamagohan is not convinced. Something on your mind? It's not about Kitagawa. It's his opponent that bothers me. And the Isai Dragons representative has entered as well. The Bounty Hunter, Sagaki Hiraku. The Bounty Hunter. He's got clean cut features and overwhelming strength. It's Sagaki Hiraku, champion of the Isai Dragons. Now allow me to take you some time to introduce you to the promotion, the Isai Dragons. So Dragons are a prestigious promotion founded in the early Showa years. Drowned out. He here became champion of the East Side Dragons right before the real championship, didn't he? Yeah, that's what I heard. Don't you find that strange? Why would they hold a title match of their own right before a tournament like this? It does seem quite risky. I think you're overthinking it. No, Yamagohan... Wait a minute. Yamagohan's got the right of it. They literally must have done a bloodbath... A bleh, bleh, bleh. Blood bath tournament of their own to decide who was the strongest in their own division to go into the real tournament. Immediately. You're right. I might be worrying over nothing. It's just, it's just something about him I can't qu quite put my finger on. You're real hunk, ain't you? Can't stand you handsome types. It's a pleasure. Oh, you're real polite, aren't you? Well, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, shithead. This match is gonna get rough, Miss Akiyama. So they're about the same height, two centimeters in the difference, and they weigh just about the same with Justin weighing just shy of 10 kilograms over. And that's the end of the chapter. Okay, so realistically, once again, um, because we started off with such great hype for Justin and stuff like this and everybody wants him to win he's the only black character in the tournament blah 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 there's a lot of reasons to keep him winning I feel like he's gonna lose I want him to win I think his style is gonna be cooler I don't like the 
tweaker look to this bounty hunter-esque emo kid. But I doubt it's going to happen. So either way, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the chapter, uh, or the comment section of the chapter. The comment section down below. And uh, once again, I just want to say that, like, this chapter was fine, but it's just a setup chapter. But all it's setting up is my failure to predict. Well, I did say I want, and I know it's not going to happen. So when the bounty hunter wins, so the, the best part about this, at the end of the day, in both videos, in both videos, you guys can go back and check them, is that... I want Justin to win. I know the bounty hunter is going to win. I still bet on Justin to win. So I will be either proven right or pleasantly surprised. Either way, I sort of kind of win. Which is nice. It's nice. So regardless of the outcome of this fight, we'll get some insight into the new characters. Plus, I don't really lose. So, that's, that's good. I mean, I'll lose in my bracket, but I'll know that I was right to be like, I want Justin to win, I'm going to pick Justin, but I have a bad feeling, you know, and I, I do trust my bad feeling. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, chapter 263, like, comment, and subscribe, chapter 264, I assume it's going to take us right into the gate of the fight. If not, we're probably going to jump away to... Actually, in fact, I don't expect to jump away from this fight. Before the Agito fight is when I expect us to jump back to the camp when Kuroki, Shen, and uh, Oma are going to start talking. So, I do expect us to some part in this tournament. If not in between fights, in between rounds or brackets, we do get a chapter where they talk. So, and I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. See you back here next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Not much to like about this year or these days, but I hope you guys feel that. And once again, thank you very much for all your kind words. I read all the comments. I tried to respond to all of them. Thank you guys so much for, uh, you know, just, just all your words. They're not penetrating me right now. Obviously, I'm very walled off right now, but uh, I do still appreciate them as far as I can right now. So thank you very much. Uh, you know, it is immensely appreciated. I love you guys. Thank you so much. So, thanks. See you next time. Chapter 264 should be much better than this chapter. I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling.